Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So what do you need to know to be able to write great rhythms? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the building blocks of what it is that makes rhythm and how we as composers of awesome cinematic music can take those little blocks and turn them into interesting rhythms. Let's dive in. Rhythm's a funny thing because for us composers and producers, the way we see rhythms is usually on a piano roll, perhaps on a step sequencer, and for some, perhaps on a score. And this is where it becomes, for me, it's a nice way to teach it because actually rhythm is all about duration and silence and mixed duration and silence over a set period of time. That's the that's the poncy way of explaining it. <laughs> I'm sure I could get poncy, but I'm not going to. Uh, uh, what I mean by that is you can see here that this note lasts for that whole beat. And that's what we're talking about in this video. The aim is for you to come away from this video with a clear understanding of these elements, these big long elements. So some of you might be like, well, this is like school kids stuff, Rich. And I'm like, yes, but this stuff's important. Uh, so we can see here, we've got this note here. That's the musical notation equivalent of what we are seeing on the piano roll as a whole note. It's called a whole note um, because it lasts for a whole bar. See this? Bar one to bar two, a whole note. Now the, the nice thing is like, I'm not gonna be teaching you the, the British way of saying it because me saying a brief, which is what we learn it as, these days, well, in the olden days, whatever, makes no sense. But saying a whole note, that makes sense. So if I split this in half, that would be called a half note. And there it is in, in notation. So we would have two half notes for the whole bar. There it is. Doo -doo. And then if we were to split both of these in half, we would ha be left with quarter notes because a half in half is a quarter. And it's a quarter because it goes into the bar four times. Let's not get into that point where you go, hold on, Rich, it doesn't go into a three, four, four times. I know, I know, I know. Let's keep it simple. Quarter notes, or as I like to call them, crotchets. <laughs> and obviously, if you cut those in half, a cut a half of a quarter is an eighth. And then we have these eighth notes. And then we cut these in half and we're left with what's called a 16th note. 16th goes into the bar 16 times. And you have four 16 notes in a quarter note. See that? And then you have eight 16th in a half note. 16th, 16 16th in a whole note. All like very basic building block stuff. But the reason I'm showing you like this is because this is what we work with. Each and every day as composers and producers, we work with these building blocks. We work with these MIDI regions and these MIDI notes to create our music. So having an understanding of the lengths of them and what that does is important. So for instance, let's just delete these guys. Oh, no, delete these guys right so now we have a quarter note a quarter note two eighth notes four sixteenth notes dan 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 da 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 or ant ant spider caterpillar <laughs> which is how i used to teach, teach rhythm to primary school kids so I used to love doing this stuff. We'd be, well, I'd have, I had rhythm cards and we'd clap it. We'd, I'd, it would be like, so for instance, this was, I'd show, I'd show them this rhythm on notation and then it will go, ant, ant, spider, spider, boom. And then we clap it, ant, ant, spider, spider, dun, 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 dun. And then you have your rhythm. So these are the building blocks for us producers and composers 
and I'm not just talking classical people, com- classical people, <laughs> classical composers who feel like score work, sc- writing using score is their is their preferred um, way of communicating. I can write using score, but I'm much more comfortable writing this. I'm very, I'm a very visual person, uh, and this is a more obvious way of indicating note lengths and pitch etc etc and velocity and things like this and obviously a silence is represented using that brilliant so what are you going to take away from this video it's kind of simple but it's for you to kind of do a couple of things i'm not expecting you to go away and learn what these notes are called uh, or what they look like in notation what I'm expecting you to do is feel comfortable using the words to explain them. Now, the reason I'm doing this masterclass series is because I want you to understand what I'm talking about when I'm going in more depth and detail with my other tutorials and courses. Because that means that you will understand better what I'm saying and it'll be easier for you to follow and understand. So when I say, oh, yes, yeah, so I've got some eighth notes and sixteenth notes here, you go, oh, yeah, I know what he's talking about. There we go. There are the little sixteenth notes. Um, or actually, no, they're not. <laughs> they're eighth notes. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm just making it. What I'm doing is I'm making a bar of loads of them, of sixteenth notes, a bar of those. So we can start to see it. The only thing I'm missing now is half notes. Now, one of the reasons I'm showing you this as well is this is a really, really simple and straightforward trick that a lot of people miss when doing builds in trailer music or any kind of cinematic music, really, building into a stop down. You know, we want to use this. Oh, okay, wait a second. There we go. We want to use. I call it the EDM build. Two, three, four. Let's hit a click. Okay, now it wouldn't be complete if we didn't then take those 16th notes and turn them into 30 seconds. Wait, has it done it? <laughs> Did I not do any 16th notes at all? Did I just do spiders? I did. <laughs> Pay attention, dude. Let's turn this last one into 30 second notes. We're cutting those ones in half. There we go. And that, oh, I'm going to need to quantize this. <laughs> Hello, quantizing my old friend. Is it doing it? No, it's not. I don't know why it's going, it's going a bit bananas. I mean, for me, that looks like a 30 second note. There's four notes to a beat and there are eight notes to a beat and it's quantized to a 30 second to 100%. Score, you should be showing me a third line there, but it's not. Logic, there's a part. Anyway, EDM build using just the basic building blocks, a whole note, two half notes, four quarter notes, four eighth notes, four sixteenth notes, and eight thirty-second notes. Awesome. These are the building blocks we're going to be working with when we talk about any rhythm. Now, each of them has their own kind of like equivalent rest, which you can see here. That's the half note rest. This is the quarter note rest. This is the... Oh, it's not... <laughs> it's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Even though it's there. Come on, do it, please. I'll score. Okay, where, where are you? I'm going to have to show you this just because otherwise it's going to annoy me. Rests. Hello, rests. Where are you? There you are. Oh, here we go. This... This is the eighth note rest. Okay, I'm not going to carry on, but 
in notation, that's how we express the gaps, the silence. Okay, so just to kind of help you further understand that a little bit. When we work with these building blocks, we'll be working not only with the lengths of them, but also gaps in between. And I will often not have them expressed in MIDI notes in their full length. I might just do this, and you see in the score, it's <laughs> now you do it, score. Damn you. This for me is a whole note because it's lasting the whole while. One, two, three, four, essentially. I know the duration of the note it, with percussive instruments isn't like that, but that's how we read it. Oh, I think I'm digging myself into a rhythmic hole here. Right, I think it's about time we moved on to the next video, which is where we're going to take these building blocks and start to create a four bar rhythm. Awesome. See you in the next video.